Tackle Junkies. What's going on, everyone? Really appreciate you guys and gals for clicking on the video. Well, it's becoming that time of year. Unboxing time. Guys, what's in this box, every angler needs. Whether you like it or not, you need what is in this box. This is an unboxing from Mustad. You need hooks, you need weights, you need terminal tackle. This is my kind of yearly order from Mustad to kind of restock. I'm not really too low on uh, many things, but uh, I figured I would share this order with you guys. I know when I first started bass fishing, that was really one of the more confusing things for me, like what hook do I use for each bait? It's kind of funny, my wife, we go back and forth a lot with this just because in the beginning we didn't know anything. You know, we were going to Bass Pro looking at the chart, trying to figure out what hook we should buy. And it was so funny, you know, they have bulk packs and all that. And we would go over there and we live, I don't know, maybe 45, 50 minutes from Bass Pro. Actually at that time, we probably lived further away, but uh, we'd go there, we'd buy one pack of weights, one pack of hooks, use like one pack of plastics. And it's really whatever we've seen uh, Bill Dance using at the time. We'd go to the Bass Pro, We'd buy that, come home, fish, or whatever. At that time, me and my wife, we fished a lot at those ponds. And if you guys don't know, that's uh, her family's uh, ponds over there. There's like three or four ponds on that property. That's where you guys see me fish um, from the bank a lot or at the smaller bodies of water. That's where I'm at. Anyways, um, but yeah, we would fish there a lot, and we would lose or, or break off our, uh, our terminal tackle all the time. It seemed like every week we would go to Bass Pro, we'd buy one pack of hooks, one pack of weights. We weren't smart enough to buy a bulk pack or maybe buy two packs. It's just funny now to see where I was like 20 something years ago and, and where I'm at now, you know, it's, it's pretty crazy. But anyways, I wanted to share this order with you guys. Um, I know a lot of you guys, like I said, kind of like these videos. I guess we're back to what? knife of the day we're rocking the i think that they call this the o knife the o knife from o light got a little discount code we can pop up on the screen for you guys this is the freeze two the o knife again from o light i believe my discount code it could be 10 or 15 percent off code tj1 over there definitely check them out see how sharp this bad boy is -hoo -hoo. she is sharp she is sharp. Ladies and gents, is, is it as sharp as a Spyderco? I don't know about that, but it's uh, it's definitely a contender. It's pretty, pretty dang, pretty dang sharp. All right, like I said, this order is from Mustad. I'll put a little discount code on the screen for Mustad as well. It's like 20% off. But if you don't find what you're looking for over at Mustad, if by chance, it is sold out. You guys can head over there to Carl's as well. They have a good uh, selection of Mustad products over there on the website. You guys know the drill over there, TJ10, 10 bucks off orders, $25 or more, new members only. I'm trying to get you guys a, a different discount code over there for Carl's as well. Maybe you guys could tell me in this video if uh, you guys would like that. If you're not a member, it will not work for members as well, but if you're not a member, would you guys like maybe a 10 or 15% off a discount code that you could use all the time over there at Carl's. Like I said, you couldn't use both, one or the other. If you want that, let me know. I'm, I'm working on that for you guys. Anyways, I think we're like four minutes in, five minutes in. I know people will complain about that. We haven't even opened anything yet, and we're five minutes in, but it is what it is. These kind of videos tend to run a bit long, you know, so it is what it is. Of course, we got the packing. So I'm trying to get things really organized already for next season. This is a busy time of year for me with work and all that. I don't get to fish as much. Normally, I'm done fishing, you know, mid-November or so. So, I, mean, I probably don't have many trips out left. Um, like I said, I've already kind of organized my terminal section, restocked here. Uh, I'm just trying to get things rolling that way. I can get out early come spring and, and start getting on them. So, anyways, let's go ahead and maybe shift the camera a little bit. How will this work? I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we can just kind of go like... No, I wanted this to be a disaster. Is this a good idea or not? I don't know. Possibly. Okay. That might work. I got an idea. I got an idea for the O knife. We go like this. That'll work good now when I reach in there. <laughs> That'll work good when I reach in there now. I can slice my hand. We might continue this. 
<laughs> we might continue this video at the hospital. I don't know. Okay, let's just go ahead and start with what we got falling out of the box here. Okay. We got some, these are weight stops. Okay, this is the six millimeter, and I believe I got four as well. I use four the most, which is the smaller size. Uh, again, not sure where they're at in there, but I do have, like I said, both sizes of the weight stops there. And these are nice because these particular ones from Mustad, they actually, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, these GoPros don't like to focus too much when you're close, but these actually go inside the weights. They do hold on a bit better than the ones that kind of just sit on top there. So anyways, weight stops. We do have both sizes of those. We got some first time trying these out. Normally when I wacky rig, I just use the uh, the Titan, I think it's the Titan X Nico hook. It might be called, I'm sure I got some in here too. Let's see if we can come across them real fast. Um, here they are. The Titan X, Titan X wacky Nico hook. This is normally the hook that I use really for any type of finesse fishing, uh, Nico rig, wacky rig and all that. But these are for the uh, wacky rig as well. I got some one ounce. I got them in red, I'm just trying something different. Like I said, I normally just use those for everything, um, but I wanted to try these out. One knot, little wacky hook there. It's got the, the wire keeper, so it's a, a weedless deal. If you guys have used these, let me know down below. So we got some of those. Like I said, we got the Titan X Wacky Nico hook. I usually run a size two, and then I think a size one, I believe. They're a four pack, got a little weed guard on there as well. I will say the weed guards, they, they do pop off pretty easy, but like I said, it's pretty, pretty sweet hook. We got a handful of those. Okay. We got uh, the Mustad Grip Pin Fine Wire in 3 out. Okay, I do like that finer wire. Um, really for Big Mike, I use it a lot for Big Mike when he's using lighter line. It's, it's much easier to penetrate the bass's jaw with a lighter wire hook, especially with, you know, um, light line. It's a great hook to use in the wintertime as well when, they're, when their jaw is extra tough because they're cold and all that. But like I said, if you're using light line, like Big Mike, this is a great option right here. It says two times fine wire, three out. Of course, that's what he uses for the Sakushi bug. Mr. Sakushi. Anyway, so I got a few packs of those for him. But it's a great way too, like if you're using a, a fluke or a Senko and you're looking for a different fall, fall rate and all that, you know, it's a, it's a good to use a lighter wire hook as well. But like I said, I mainly use these for, for my son when he's fishing with that lighter line. Okay, we got some of the, uh, the fast Tatch, fast Tatch football weights. I really like these from Mustad just because you can buy the head separately. It's kind of like a, like a wobble head, like a Jean LaRue, what do they call those? The, the biffle head, it's kind of like that but the weight is separate so you can put whatever hook you want on there so we got a couple of these in a three quarter it's a heavier weight for the depth i fish but you'll have good bottom contact with that heavier weight so a couple of those there uh tungsten weights quarter ounce must have has some great tungsten i do believe i got like one pack of all the sizes that i use i didn't break off too many this year so pretty good with those Okay, here we have the, the Grip Pin Big Bite. This is the soft plastic hook. They call it the two times long. A Grip Pin Big Bite soft plastic hook, two times long. So I mainly use that EWG Grip Pin. I like the round bent offset. I love the one from Mustad here though, just because it gives you a bigger gap, a longer shank and a longer neck. So you can use this particular round bent offset uh, with some thicker baits, so. Love that one there. Again, this is size uh, three out. I believe I got a few different sizes in those. I do believe a couple are on back order, but anyway, that's a great hook there. A great worm hook, but like I said, with this particular hook, you can use it for fatter baits as well. And then we got here, here's the other hook that I like to use. It's an EWG as well. And to be honest, guys, I'm kind of leaning more towards this one versus the grip pin on some baits. I'm gonna go ahead and take one out here. This is called the, the big mouth hook there. I believe they call it a tube hook. I got these in a variety of sizes as well. Started using these last year, but uh, you guys can see here, maybe you can't, you might be able to. That hook point, it's not 
don't know if you guys can tell. It's not, I mean, it's in line with the eye, but it's a bit, it's a bit offset there. Not by much, but if you guys remember a video I did years ago on the Troke R2 book, you guys know I love tossing the tube. It was one of my confidence baits years ago. Believe it or not, guys, believe it or not, when I first started bass fishing, I never even touched a hard bait. Like, I didn't crank at all. Believe, believe it or not, you know, for as much as I crank now, back then, I mean, a tube was like my crankbait today. You know what I mean? Anyways, back then, I was using that Trocar 2 puck just because that hook point was offset from the eye just a bit, and you need that wider gap there just because how thick a tube is. So having a hook point that is offset from the eye just a little bit just gives you a better hookup ratio. So anyways, I've been messing around with these. The plastic does tend to slide down uh, the neck here um, pretty easy, so I use the Rapid Fishing Hook All tool, which I do have a video on this as well. I'll link it down below. Handy little tool here. Of course, I got a discount code for you guys as well. But like I said, I've been going to this hook for my fatter type baits, tubes, creature baits, things like that, and just using the disc to keep the uh, the plastic up on the neck there, just kind of like what the grip pin does. But yeah, really nice hook there from Mustad. Again, I believe it's called the, yeah, they, they have big mouth on here, but I believe it's called like a tube hook. We got some swivels here. Uh, these are size one. I'll tell you what, I think I got like four different sizes because I wasn't sure what size I wanted. Size one looks pretty solid there. Size one, and I don't use swivels a lot, mainly for like a fluke or something like that. These are the fast stash clips. Just a quick way to be able to swap lures and all that. Just tie directly to your line and you can just swap lures around without having to retie. So picked up some of those to mess around with. That's a size two. I got those for actually bigger baits. Size one, I believe is what you want for like bass fishing, but they were out of that size. Uh, we got some here. This is size zero, which guys said these are great for trout. Maybe I'll get out for trout fishing uh, this winter. I don't know. But anyways, that's why I picked these up there for maybe a few trout lures. And then we got the, the grip pins that I was talking about earlier. This is the standard wire, not the light wire. Again, three out and four out are kind of my go-tos. And these right here. And we got some flipping weights, one ounce. I don't do a, a, a ton of that. Picked up a couple of those. We really don't even have many mats on the uh, the lakes that I fish, to be honest with you. Picked up a couple of carabiners. Seen these up on the side. I thought they are pretty cool. It's kind of like a, a hook. I usually put one of these on my belt while I'm fishing and keep a, my Talon remote on there. Or even my GoPro remote, which doesn't work half the time. But like I said, I thought it was pretty cool having a little, little must-add hook on there. A little carabiner. So, picked up a couple of those. Okay, we got some more swivels here. This is size zero, yeah, a bit smaller. Size zero there. We got some, these are frog hooks. The, uh, I think I ordered four and five out in these. I think four out was back ordered. And here's the five out there. Just your double frog hook there. Double frog hook. Normally I frog with, it's an, actually it's an owner hook. It's an owner twist lock, um, twist lock triple X, six out is what I use normally, but I wanted to give these a shot as well. I believe these are like a one times, yeah, one times strong. So a thick, uh, or a bit thicker wire here, one times strong. And like I said, it's got the double, the double hook on there. So I'm gonna mess around with these um, come spring. So a few packs of those that come in a two pack there. We got uh, a couple tools here. I use these this year, loved them, so I want to pick up a couple of extras. This is the 8-inch uh, leverage side cutter. A little side cutter there. And I love this one. This is the, they call it the ergonomic heavy duty pliers. It's kind of like a pistol grip, pistol grip pliers. Really what it does is when you're trying to get the hook out of the fish's throat, um, if you're using a regular pair of pliers, your hand is kind of in the way. So having it offset there, it kind of allows you to have a straight line of sight there so you can see what you're doing. So anyways, really like these um, from Mustad. These are an 11 inch, like I said, kind of like that, that pistol grip style pliers there. So got those. We won't take this out. This is a little, I believe that's what this is. Let me look here. It's a little gift, a little gift for my editor. 
you know, babe, we're just gonna, we won't take them out. We'll just show everybody here. But this is a little, yeah, we'll keep it in the package here. Now yeah, I guess, you know, what's already open, so. I guess I got to now, right? A little Velcro closure type deal. Nice. Oh, dude, that's cool. Babe, you may not, you may not get this. Those are some big knives, too. It's a little uh, knife set, fillet knife set, and a sharpener there. Uh, she uses it for like chicken and things like that, but I mean, super sharp knives. I got her one last year and she loved it. So like I said, I went ahead and picked her up a, a set this year. So if we ever do like a catch and cook, we can, uh, maybe, maybe we can use that in a video too. So anyways, babe, these are for you. I'll set them aside, you know. <clears throat> Thanks for all that you do. Okay, we got, um, these are pretty cool. These are the uh, little, what are these, what size are these here? Little dry bags. I think they're like a three, three liter. It's a little dry bag there. I thought it'd be kind of cool if me and Mike did end up fishing in the creeks and all that, but they have a little dry bag, put a few lures or whatever in there, or phone, wallet, whatever. So anyways, kind of cool. Little three liter. I'm sure the old lady will have taken one of these, but at least one's for me and maybe her or Mike. I don't know, but I'll keep it my babe. Okay, what else do we got? A couple little nippers here. Sometimes you get uh, jig heads and the eyes are kind of clogged with paint. We got a little deal on the end there. We'll clear the eye out. Of course, you got a little line nipper on one side as well. So something there to throw in the little glove box in the boat in case you need it. Now these swivels here are a little bit bigger. But for a fluke rig, I do like a bit bigger swivel. So this size here is still good. This is size two, so not too big. Size two there. Okay, we got some more tungsten here. More tungsten, more tungsten, more tungsten, more tungsten. And like I said earlier, they got some really good tungsten here. It doesn't chip. Uh, this is a 1 16th. And I don't know what they call that process, but there's quite a few companies doing that now to where, like I said, the paint does not chip off. So we said a 1 16th, here's 3 16th, here's a 3 8th, we got a half, uh, 5 16th, here is 3 quarter, 3 quarter there. Here's some nail weights, got these an eighth, some nail weights, tungsten nail weights there. I believe it's a 10 pack that you get there. We got some of the grip pin, big bites off plastic hooks. These are, again, the round bent offset with the longer shank there, longer neck, bigger gap. I believe these are a five op, which I mainly use these for like a 10 inch worm. And here's the last pack of swivels that I got here. These, yeah, these are a good size here. This is a size three, size three there. Really, I got what zero, one, two, and three, and none of them are really, they're not too small or too big. You can use them for, for different applications while you're bass fishing, so it just really depends what you want to do. But like I said, you get a little more weight out of the three there, obviously, compared to like a zero, so it just depends what you're doing with it. But uh, we got <clears throat> some more hooks here. That's the, This is that tube hook here, and a three-aught. And then... I also got them in a, I know this is the grip pin, grip pin in a four out there. And then here is a four out in that, in that tube hook there. So I don't get too crazy as far as actual soft plastic hooks. We got the grip pins, the EWGs in a light wire, and then just a standard wire. We got the round bin offset. And then we have the, you know, the tube hook that we talked about earlier. So, I mean, those few styles are the main ones I use. I do use the straight shank from time to time, but um, like I said, those those few, man, they pretty much get me through the year. Here's another one of the uh, the Titan X Wacky Nico in a four, a bit smaller one there, size four. Another tungsten here in an eighth. What do we got here? I believe the rest of that there could be uh, just uh, treble hooks, which I go through trebles very fast. This here is, oh, some more of the, the weight stops, size four. Weight stops, size four. This here is, these are some little Carolina weights in quarter ounce. 
Me and Michael use these for like the little mojo rig as well. These are a bit heavy for you. You want a little, a bit lighter weight for the mojo. I got some eighth ounce I use for him for that. But like I said, if you want to be on the bottom, this is a good little weight to do it right there. A little Carolina rig weight, quarter ounce tungsten. I do believe this here is some more nail weights, I believe. No, these are some, some drop shot weights in three eighths. Tungsten drop shot three eighths. Okay, last up here we have our treble hooks. You guys know I'm a square bill fanatic. I mean, I could crank all day long, no matter if I'm catching them or not. It's just how I love to fish. And if you're cranking rock all day, you will go through some treble hooks. I don't get many bites on the lakes that I fish. So when I do get bit, I want to make sure I have a nice sharp hook on there. So I do swap hooks out pretty often when I'm cranking rock. But I got size six here being the smaller size and size four. To be honest, guys, I forgot to order my size two. But for, for the most part, I'm running size six and size four. Size six is for that, that 1.0 type size, the bomber score A, that smaller size. Size four I run for 1.5 type size, you know, that, that size there. If I run size twos, then I'll run that on like a 2.5 size. But size six and size four are my main sizes here. And this is the triple grip, short shank. It's got the tipped in points, that EWG type hook there. So it's a short shank with the tipped in points. And I like this particular hook here anytime I'm using a diving type crankbait, whether it be a square bill, a lipless, a DT6, whatever. I like that triple grip. Now, if they're, if they're not chewing, if they're just slapping at it, I will go to really the same hook but it's in a round bend. Those hook points are in line with the shank and you just have a, a better chance of, of snagging them with this hook versus the uh, the triple grip with the tipped in points if they're not chewing. Now, if they're chewing, I mean, it's hard to beat that triple grip just because this hook, man, it, it just sticks them. So this is the one that I do like to start out with. But like I said, if they're, if they're not chewing, I will go to that other hook there. And I do have a video, which I'll link down below, actually using both styles of hooks on on one crankbait. Definitely check that one out. Pretty good tip. It'll be linked down below. Anyways, size six. We got a bunch of these here. You guys know I, I love the Bomber Square A and I use these mainly on that particular uh, square bill. So we got like a dozen packs of these. We got a dozen packs here of the size four. Again, for the KVD 1.5, any of the 1.5 size, um, square bills that I run the fours on. And the last up we have, these are size two, four, and six. Again, six being the smaller size. This is just a standard shank, standard wire. Okay, and these are what I'll use for um, top waters, whether it be a popper, a walking bait, jerk baits, you know, baits like that. So again, just your standard shank, standard wire, round bend. Again, I like the round bends for, again, top waters and jerk baits. Anytime where they're kind of slapping at it, you just have a better chance of hooking up with that round bend versus the hook with, that has the tipped in points, you know, like those triple grips. But anyways, yeah. Size six, size four, and size two, again, for my you know, top waters, jerk baits, things like that. Well, guys, that should wrap it up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And if you didn't know what size hook to use or really what style hook to use for most baits, hopefully you guys learned that in this video. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you guys liked the video, be sure to smash the thumbs up. Love you guys. And we will see you guys on the next one.